Hey guys, and welcome to another Element video tutorial. Today I just want to show you a little bit about the placeholders, uh, which I'm sure some of you have seen on the website and maybe not understand what it does. So that's what we're going to cover this time. So let's just jump right into it. I've got my two ro robo verbs loaded up here. And so there's actually two ways that placeholders can be used. And I'll show the first way right now. And that is if plugins are missing on a session that's loaded, then a placeholder will be loaded in its place so that the session doesn't get all jacked up. So I'll just go ahead and kind of sim simulate that now. So what I'm going to do, I've got a finder window. I'm going to pretend like RoboVerb was deleted. So here's the actual plugin file. I'm going to drag that over here just to my desktop. Whoop. Actually, looks like I need to delete that too. Alrighty, so RoboVerb is gone. Let's go to Element here. I'm going to quit. Yes, I would love to save. Load it back up. And you can see here, we've got placeholders in there instead. So that's kind of the point of it. It's so that you do not lose your graphs, pretty much. They don't get all jacked up. So what I'm going to do again, let's not save. I'm going to take a RoboVerb, put it back where it was. bring up element again and voila it's still there and that's the main use for the placeholders that feature is in all versions of element so your LT your SE and the pro now what I'm going to show you is let me get these plug-in windows out of the way is the second way to use placeholders so basically this is up to you however you want to do um, we come over here to the element plugins and find a placeholder and add it on there this doesn't really need to be connected to anything but basically what you do here whoop don't want that to pop up either Duplicate that. I'm just making a fake uh, setup here. So you can use it for your template building is the idea. So I have some placeholders in here that I added manually. And what you do is, you know, kind of set up generic graphs and then later on come in and replace those with actual effects like that. I'm going to replace this one and let's put in the I don't know e-verb why not and that's it that's pretty much all there is to it or you can go the reverse around if you have stuff already in you can replace with let's see it's right here replace with a placeholder and actually that kind of looks like a bug there. I'm going to have to see why those audio channels are going away, but <clears throat> rest assured that I will actually check into that and uh, I'm going to actually log that right now. But that's the idea of it, guys. Uh, that's what placeholders do. By the time you actually try it out, these placeholders will have audio channels <laughs> or not. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below or hit us up and support. Peace. Yeah.